Okay, we're going to start in about two and a half minutes. Our time is at 10 o'clock uh, Cairo time. And it's Magnificent Life, call number two. If you're here, please let me know. And um, tell me what happened last week. What have you done the homework? Have you done your Wheel of Life? Have you written out, got on your notebook? I'm sorry, please be patient with me. I'm having a little bit of internet issues, as a lot of people do. <laughs> I don't know. That's the one thing about um, networks. And, uh, although it's a fantastic tool, it's a technique that's amazing. We have all this capacity to reach the whole world, but we still have a few issues. So good evening, uh, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. Please let me know your name and where you're from. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so this is the English uh, uh, live that I do to serve the English speakers. Um, today it's Magnificent Life call number two. I'm happy you're here. And my first question is, what have you done? So um, last week we talked about drawing a circle, like a pie with a lot of pie pieces, taking parts of your life, rating how, how satisfied you are with it, zero to ten. You could color it in if you want, and then writing what would make it a 10, 10 being it's amazing. So what would make it a 10? Um, once you've done that, I want you to keep this in one notebook because we're going to work through a lot of the stories. Then this week, I want you to take that, what would make it a 10, and now you know, like you say, um, I'm not so happy about my health. I want to eat healthier. Uh, I, would, it would be, um, I would lose 10 kilos or 10 pounds or 10 stones, whatever you are, and I would um, exercise twice a week. So already you know what needs to be done so that your mind is happy with where you're at. So if taking from those, I know it's a lot of pieces. It could be your health, your, your wealth, your relationships, your, your career, your success, your self-development, wherever it is, your spirituality, your religion. So you take all those and take two or three of them and write out what you could start as a plan. We're going to start a plan to improve our life because we're trying to reach a magnificent life. From our point of view, what we would like our life to look at, like. So starting with just take it, we can't change them all at the same time. That would be too overwhelming and it won't work and you'll give up within a week, if not within a day. So what we're going to do is take two or three of those categories, choose the ones that are really priority to you. So I'm sure you know, is it my money? Is it my relationship with my kids? Is it my relationship with my spouse? Is it my relationship with my, my God or my, my spiritual leader or whatever it is it for you? Is it, my relation, is it my health? What is it? Is it my career? I'm not putting in what I'd like. I'm not getting what I like. Choose two or three of those categories and write out one thing to do. Just one, one step, one thing you can follow through with. And we're going to have that as our goals for the next period. So let's say you're in health. You decided, you say, I need to be walking twice a week. And don't make them outrageous goals because then they're too big and then you fail very fast and then you get disappointed. So this is my way of doing things. So don't make them too outrageous. So twice a week, maybe you can handle it. By the way, it could be 10 minutes. You could start out with 10 minutes. I know it sounds like 10 minutes twice a week. What is that? It's okay. Let me get 10 minutes in and then we'll see. So make them really doable, bite size, and take one thing or two things you can do. So maximum three things from all the categories. Choose three things you can do. And it could be in one category if you want to work on one category at a time, or it could be in diff three different categories. Okay, and then we're going to take this a step further. So now you have these three things you want to work on. And let's say one of them was improving my health, and I told that I need to be exercising a minimum of twice a week. And actually, I hate exercising or, or whatever. So you would probably use the magical tool called tapping to get there. So let's say I know I want to walk. I know I want to exercise. Whatever my choice of, for me, it would be walking. I know I want to walk and I don't want to walk. So my mind says I need to be walking because I think this will be good for my health and I need to do it twice a week. And you know I'm dying to do it like half an hour I'm willing to start with 10 minutes, but at least do it. So what I'm going to do is tap that. So the next step would be, see, we're taking it bit by bit. 
So where's my stopper? Because like I wrote them down, I'm excited. Yeah, I want to do that. This will lead me to my magnificent life. That's what would look good for me. I would have a better body or better health and I'd be happy with myself because that's all I want. I just want to walk twice a week. I'm good with that. Okay, but I'm not doing it. So now I need to do it. And suddenly it's like heavy. Now I have to put this in my calendar. I don't want to walk. And you know what? Within a week, if not earlier, you're going to find excuses not to do it. So what we're going to do is tap the resistance to whatever we want because our goals, we have a lot of resistance. The minute we tell our brain we want to do such and such, which is good for us and we know it has some reason, some hidden, we'll talk about the unconscious and subconscious one day, some reasons that it will stop you. It thinks, no, 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 she'll get, you know, she won't be happy. No, 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 let her just sit down and watch the movies. No, 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 that was difficult before and she wasted time. I don't know, it has its own reasons. And actually, it sounds like I'm making it sound light and this subconscious is fighting you. There's a lot of neuroscience behind this. Of just the patterns and, and the, the way the brain is, is structured and the way one, it wants things in the structures it knows and the ones that have been followed several times. So if my program is, in my mind, I eat dinner and I sit on the couch and I watch my favorite cereal or I open my Facebook, then it got used to this and it's done it over and over and over. It's so easy for it. It knows how to do it. It does not want you now to eat dinner and then go out and walk. It doesn't want to do that. So it will fight you all the way through. It doesn't have neural pathways for it. So there's a lot of science behind this, but I'm trying to simplify it. I'm trying to make it really easy. So now we need to tap the resistance. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to keep it short, bite size, but we're going to get there. Over a month, you're going to find your life changing. So we're going to tap that. So now we have the three things, and if there's any resistance, and how do you measure the resistance? Like how willing am I willing to do like whatever I wrote to do? So let's say I want, I'm a writer and I need to write more. So I wrote, I will write for an hour every day no matter what. And when I see, okay, I want to do it. I really want to do it. I know it will advance my career. I know in like six months I'll maybe have some articles out or a book out. But I, don't want, but I know there will be resistance. So take a deep breath and say, yeah, I'm going to do that. How excited am I about it? How interested am I? Can I do it? And like, but uh, then we have resistance. How easy is it? Zero to ten. If it looks like anything less than a nine or eight or a ten, that that's how easy it is for you, let's say ten is really easy, then you have resistance. If it's not like, how fun is that? I'm so excited to be doing that. And if it's not an eight or nine or ten, you have resistance. And let's tap the resistance. So, um, hi Safa, hi Amal, um, hi Moni. So, here we go. Even though I'm resisting this. It's hard. It's going to be a struggle to keep up that. Although I know I want to do it. I love and accept myself. Even though my mind says I should be walking twice a week or exercising twice a week. But I know I'm going to have a lot of resistance. I know it's going to be a struggle. I know I'm going to find excuses because I've done this before and that's what happened. I love and accept myself. Even though I'm resisting this. Although I say I want to do it, and I do want to do it. I really want to do it. I know it's good for me. I've been wishing to do it for years. I totally and completely love and accept myself. And let's start here. All this resistance. All this resistance. All this my mind telling me, ah, uh, that's going to be hard. And it's going to be cold. And it's going to hurt. And it's just you don't have time. You have so much other things to do. And maybe just today, and maybe tomorrow, you can do it. All this resistance, all this struggle, all this fighting back, all this fighting with myself, all this struggle, all this resistance, all this stuff in my mind telling me, I don't really, really, really want to do it. And it's going to be hard and boring. And I don't know. Even if I do it a few days, I probably won't keep it up. So I start anyway. I'm probably just going to fail again and quit again and get disappointed again. And that will hurt a lot. So why start anyway? Maybe it's not that important. Or at least not this week or this month or this year. Maybe I'll do it when I 
retire. <laughs> I don't know. Years when I have more time in life. Maybe I'll do it when I, the kids are out of school. Maybe I'll do it in the summer. Maybe, you know what? I'll make it the New Year's resolution. Yeah, yeah. January 1st, I start that. That would be a good time to start that. This is not a good time. I have a lot of work at work. The kids take a lot of my time. My health. <clears throat> I don't know, my wife. Whatever. There's a lot of stuff on my plate. This isn't a good time. All this resistance. All this resistance. All this resistance. All this resistance to doing what I really want to do. I wonder what it's all about. I wonder what this is all about. What is my fear? Why am I resisting it so much? What is my mind fearing? What is its biggest fear? And you know what? Something's going to come up. So let's say it's like, what if I quit again? And then I get so disappointed with myself and start blaming myself and telling myself I fail and telling myself I don't keep up with things. I'm not consistent. I, uh, I don't complete. What if I do that again? I don't want to do that. I'm so scared to do that. That is my fear. I'm so scared that I won't do it. And then I'll be disappointed in myself. I've been there before. I've been disappointed many, many times. I've disappointed myself many, many times. And that hurts. And I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. So why start that? Why put myself up for that? Why put myself in that situation? That's so scary. Nobody in their sanity would do that. Nobody in their right mind would do that. Why would I do that to myself? I could just skip that, even if it's on my wish list. I could just skip it, and then I won't go through that. And then I can just keep saying, oh, one day I'll do it, and it'll be okay. It's much safer. It's better for me. I think I'll just do that. What if? No, I won't. No, I won't. I really want to walk. I know it's good for me. It'll make me feel good. It's good for my health. It's something I want to do. No, I won't. And I'm going to do something called um, just choices. So like, I won't do it. I'm not going to do it. Yes, I am. Not going to do it. No, no, I am going to do my exercise. Not going to do it because it's not feeling good for me right now. No, I'm not going to do it. Yes, I am going to do it. Yes, I am going to do it. Don't have to do it. Can't make me do it. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Nobody can make me do it. Not even me. What if it's possible that this time I can do it? What if it's possible I just have to take one day at a time? What if it's possible that this time I could, could continue and be consistent? And so what if I skip a day? It's not a disaster. At least I'm doing my best and I'm trying. What if I skip a day or a couple of days and still continue? What if five years later <clears throat> I'm walking twice a week, having fun, and sometimes I don't walk and it's okay? What if that's okay? What if, oh my God, I'm human and things do happen? What if I can fall and get up? I did that before. When I was a baby, oh my God, I fell and got up. Until I learned how to really walk. And that was okay. What if I can do that this time? What if I do that this time? Okay, so you're going to tap and tap and tap until you feel like, what's the big deal? Even if I start and quit, it's better than never starting. What's the big deal? What if it will continue? What if I just need to do my best and keep at reminding myself why I'm doing that? Keep at like, I really want to do this. I want to walk twice a week. Okay, so I skipped three days last week. So what? Just That's the past. So what? My goal still is to walk twice a week. Let me do that. Okay, let me do that. And make it easy and make it simple and no blame, no reprimanding, no, um, no self-defeating uh, words. Just let me go on and do it. And just keep it that way. It would, for a lot of people, we struggle to keep things that we promise ourselves. But the point is to be consistent and keep getting up and do it. People who succeed in anything, they just made themselves do it, even when they fell. 
even when they fell. If you talk to sports people, you talk to successful businessmen, they say, we lost money on this project and we just got up and started again. We lost money on this thing, we just got up and did it again. It happens over and over and over and that's okay. That's okay. So, um, you have any questions? Hello, Ahmed, please let me know. I really would like to know how many of you did your Wheel of Life last week? Because it is the way to, to move forward. It is, hello, Sahar. Um, it is the way to know, to create this magnificent life we're working on. And I promise you, if you follow with me in this path, your life will be different. Not only six months or eight months down the road, starting in about a month, something will change. Starting in about, because already we, you've at least seen like, where are the parts of my life that I'm not so happy with? You've already done that from video one. And you've already figured out what needs to happen for me to be happy. You've already done that, supposedly. And now today we've learned how to tap the resistance of doing what we need to do to get where we want. And that all came from inside of you. So you've been talking to yourself, figuring out what you want out of life, what it needs to look like, your life and what needs to happen, and then we're gonna start working on it. So this week, you're gonna tap the resistance to the three items you've chosen that you'd like to implement in your life and start them this week. This is the week we start. So today's Saturday, by next Saturday, at least you have started on those three things. If three is too much, do two, it's okay. It's an individual thing. It's a journey. Everybody takes their journey in their own time. We don't all have to drive at 100 kilos of, uh, kilometers an hour. We could drive at 80, we could drive at 70. It's okay. So there's nobody better than the other. There's no such thing. Take your time, but start the steps. Okay? Hello, Niveen. How are you? And Sahar. Okay, so please let me know your questions. Even if during the week on the same video, I do follow. Uh, share these videos with your friends. We're keeping this at 10 o'clock every Saturday. We're hoping this is a good time for everyone. If you miss it, it's okay. Show up next. The, you can see it on the, on the Facebook. I'm only working through this page, which is Mirati Sukari, Mirati Sukari, English and Arabic. Let your friends know. Let them start on the journey with you. That also helps. Because like if you and three or four friends are doing it together, you can say, what are you doing? Where did you get stuck? What happened? Can I help you tap? Some of you know how to tap more than others. Uh, let's tap together. You can help each, you can create groups. Get four or five friends and say, today we're in July. By December, we're going to have a different life. Our life will be 30% better, 40% better, 10% better. I mean, 10% better. Amazing. Our life will be 10% better. So get a friend or two or three, make a small group, and you are leading you're the magnificent life group. You're going to get your life to be magnificent. And work on that together. It's always a lot more fun. There'll be a lot of support between you. And I know it works a lot, a lot more effective. A lot more effective. Okay. So this is this week. Please, please make sure you have your notebook. You've done your Wheel of Life. Go back to the first video if you need to. Write me your questions. Write me your results. What have you done? This is not a one-way discussion. This is a two-way discussion. The reason it's live is for me to get to know you and for you. Okay, so again, the reason it's live is because it's interactive. I like to hear from you and you get to ask me your questions. You're actually getting an EFT and all my other knowledge that I've been doing for nine or 10 years now. You get it all in one. I'm sharing it with you, bite size and how to change your life. See you next week. Please share these videos and let me know how you're doing. Love you.